Hi friends, David here from Above AVL. And in this video, we're gonna show you how to set up a video wall on a Coex or VMP processor. So this is like your KU20, your MX20, um, your MX40, MX40 Pro. Most of the newer Novastar processors use this software called VMP. And if you simply put your processor on the network, you can go ahead and log into it and configure all sorts of great stuff. And it's really helpful, easier, I think, than using the front screen to set up your wall. So let's dive in. So I've set up a basic wall here and I've got my KU20 on the network and I've launched VMP. So it's gonna go ahead and find it. And then I have the ability to set up my wall. So if you come in here and you've got a wall set up already, we could just go to layout here on the top. And I'm gonna go ahead and just delete all these panels. I can actually hit, uh, I can't hit shift, but delete all those. And then we're starting from scratch. Now you'll notice if you look at our wall, we get the trademark look of a Nova Star processor that has not been configured, right? Every panel's the same. They're all getting the same signal. And this is always a great check just to make sure, you know, look at your wall and go, okay, is every panel getting signal? Do they all look the same? And then you're ready to map. There's a couple ways to do this. So if you know how you wired your wall, and most people do, you can go here to the source tab, first of all, select the internal source, okay, for your layer one. Um, and that's gonna give you the Nova Star test pattern. Okay, the nice uh, colored pencils. Then we'll go over here to layout. And there's two things you can do. One is you can click on mapping and it's gonna tell you, as you can see on the wall, each individual tile and where they're plugged in. So S is screen number, P is port number, and then number is the wiring order. So we can see here we're starting down bottom right and we zigzag up, okay? Now we'll go ahead and just do our layout. So we click here to one, it knows we have 12 panels connected already and we could just go ahead and start to work with them. Now notice for some reason my canvas is actually really small. So we're gonna adjust that first. So I hit escape and then we're gonna go to source. And yes, I see my canvas size is an odd size for some reason, it's 671 by 408. And so we're just gonna go ahead and adjust this and we're just gonna do 1920 by 1080, making an HD signal, zoom out a little, I just use control on my scroll wheel, whoops. And now we'll go back to layout. Select our cabinets, and now we'll start building. You can build your cabinets and stick them really on any part of the screen you want, and you can also move them later. Depending on how you're mapping things, if you're going direct HDMI into a wall, you can do an exact size, but if you're using like SDI converters or coming in via SDI, then you're gonna wanna stick to a standard resolution. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead, like I said, uh, bottom right is where I started. So one, two, three, zigzagging up. Get all my panels set up. And you don't really have to worry when you're first setting them out about where they go. If you click off mapping, you see, okay, now we've got it mapped, we're feeling good about it. So there's a couple things we can do in terms of the actual layout to make our life easier when coming off of a computer. First things first, I could go in here and I could change the wiring order based off of whatever I want. I also see that we are 988 by 408 is our custom resolution. That's the actual resolution of our wall here. And so I can go, for example, a lot of times you wanna put walls in the upper right hand corner and then just put your content there. If you're going direct into your processor from a PC output directly via HDMI, you can do what's called a custom resolution where the processor will actually feed your computer the resolution that is exactly what it's doing. This is a tall wall, it's kind of an awkward size. And so we could go and we could actually type in, oh my, my bad, that was not the <laughs> size, that was the coordinates. Uh, but we could go ahead and say, okay, we know that our cabinets, these are DVS Visor 2.9s, that they are 168 by 168. And so we could just go and do the math really quick. So three, so we could go ahead and we could actually adjust our canvas size or our, our source size to 504 by, 
and then our height is going to be whatever our height is of this particular wall. Uh, it is four by 128, so that's 504 by 512. Can't do math. How about 672? <laughs> <laughs> that looks better. The benefit of doing it this way, of setting in a custom resolution, is that your wall fits your layer exactly, okay? So your source is coming in, your canvas size is now 504 by 672. Our layer, being a KU20, is just the same size as the canvas, okay? So it's 504 by 672. And when I plug in a PC to the HDMI port, it will see this, this, uh, particular video wall processor as a custom size display that is 504 by 672. So while our test pattern is stretched, we would get an exact output from our computer at that size, making it really easy to just kick content over there, have it be the full size of the screen, and it'll look pretty good on your wall. Of course, you can really dive down the rabbit hole in terms of mapping. There's a lot of stuff you can do, and depending on what program you have, it may make sense to do your source as any HD signal and then just output onto that HD signal in the upper right-hand corner the size of your canvas. Uh, it, it just depends kind of on what you're doing. But you've got a couple options. Um, either way, VMP is a really easy way to map your LED walls. Pretty much anybody can do it. Uh, if you're new to LED walls and you're just getting started with this stuff and you're you're doing the you're in the research phase, then head over to Above AVL. We've got multiple trusted, really awesome brands of walls, and we love to help people find the right wall for their needs and get it in their hands every day. If that sounds good to you, then hey, we'll, we'll drop a quick link below to our LED wall calculator. You let us know a little bit about your project and what you're doing, and we're gonna find the best fit. We're gonna find something that can deliver to you on time, and we're gonna find the best price for you your needs, but it's gotta be a quality wall because if you buy a low quality wall, you're gonna be really frustrated for years to come with failure points, so you don't want that. All right, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching, have a great day.